happy people in today's video i'm going to show you all how to do some quick and easy gel x nails as well as tell you all about my family vacation that i took over the summer to disney i'm going to be including some pictures so definitely stay tuned we're taking a family vacation to disneyland and i thought it would only be appropriate to do some disney inspired nails i'm going to show you the products i'm going to be using to prime and prep my nails i'm going to be using the young nails protein bond with the gelin uh, dehydrator to adhere my full cover tips i'm going to be using my beetles nail glue which I absolutely love. Um, I am going to be going in with my Madam Glam base and top coat as well as Perfect White because I'm going to do some all white nails. For my decor, I'm actually just going to be going in with these really cute Mickey heads that I got from Amazon. I'm just going to open it up and show you guys what they look like. It's just a little cut out of Mickey. It's so cute and then I love it because it comes in all of the different colors and so I do have mine's already prepped and ready to go so I'm super excited to do this look. So yeah y'all let's hop into this tutorial. I have already filed, shaped, and buffed my nails off camera. I am going to go ahead and go in with my swipe from Young Nails just to further dehydrate my nail. I'm going to use a lint-free wipe to do that. I really enjoy using my swipe when it's time to prep the nails for extended wear. So that's what it's looking like after the swipe. And then I'm going to go in with my dehydrator one more time just to further dehydrate the nail. Next I'm going to be going in with my medium square full cover tips. I actually really like these tips a lot. These are actually the pre-etched tips. So I'm not really sure if you all can see like the etching in it, but yeah, these have already been etched. But just to ensure that I have good adhesion on the nail, I am going to go in with my Young Nails Primer and I'm just going to prime the inside of the tip. Um, this is something you can do if you don't want to buff the inside of the tip with um, an e-file. So I'm just going to go in and just apply just a little bit of primer to the inside of the nail and then I'm going to just let that air dry. And I do have my nail extension light. I am absolutely loving this light for adhering full cover tips. Once the primer has dried, I'm going to go in with my um, nail glue from Beatles. I really enjoy using this nail glue for a variety of different things, applying full cover tips, applying rhinestones, etc. You all have seen me apply full cover tips a million and one times, but just in case anyone here is new, I'm just going to go ahead and apply a thin amount to the inside of the nail tip and whatever access I have, I just kind of swipe that on into the nail. Next, I'm going to turn on my lamp. Oh, you all can see that the lamp is turned on. I'll flip it over, okay, and then I'm going to start at the cuticle area and then slowly let the gel find its way down and then hold it under here to cure it in place. And that's a perfect application here. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process for all of the nails. So again, you'll want to apply a generous amount to the inside of the nail tip. Start at the cuticle and let the gel flow its way down. Cure for 10 to 15 seconds and repeat that process. So I did want to remind you all that there is a current giveaway going on on my channel. The giveaway does end tonight. So if you all are interested in entering, um, I will leave that giveaway video linked in the description box below. So the nails have been file shaped and buffed. I'm going to go in with my base coat from Madam Glam and I'm just going to apply one layer of that to all of the nails just to make sure that the white um, gel polish adheres nicely to the nails. Y'all know I'm a big fan of the Madame Glam gel polishes. This polish only requires a 30 second curing time, so that's gonna make this mani nice, quick, and easy. I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. That's what it looks like after base coat. Now I am gonna go in with two layers of the Perfect White. I absolutely love how white this is. This white is so pure and opaque, it kind of almost lends like that bluish white, which is really white white. I really like that a lot. But yeah, you guys, I'm really excited about the family vacation that we're getting ready to take. It's been a while since um, we've been, done a family vacation, so I'm excited for it. It's gonna be my daughter's first time going to Disney. I think, how many times? I think I've been to Disney twice now. So this would be my third time going. I went when I was in college with some friends and had a really good time so it'd be cool to go again now as a parent and see you know you know how my how my daughter enjoys it so we try to take family vacations whenever we get the opportunity really because you know life is really short and we like to make sure that we're making the most of it you know all right so this is what the nails are looking like after just one coat y'all this is why i love madame glam polishes because it just takes one coat of coverage i'm going to cure this for 30 seconds and do a second coat 
this is what the nails look like after two layers of the perfect white now i am going to go in with the base coat again and i'm going to use that to apply my mickey mouse head sequins i did go ahead and do my thumbnail off, off camera and i'm just going to repeat that for all of the nails here first i'm going to go in with the really thin layer of base coat over top of the entire nail i am going to do one nail at a time so i can try to get the um, sequence delay as flat as possible. And then I'm gonna take um, just a random wax pencil here and pick up the sequins and lay them on the nail how I want them to be. That looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so that's what it looks like after it's been cured. I am gonna go ahead and repeat that process on all the nails. Again, just applying a thin layer of base coat and then um, laying the sequins on the nail like I want them. I was trying to go in and use my jelly stamper but y'all I really I guess I don't know how to use it because every time I use it like the nail I feel like maybe I press down too hard and then it looks weird on the nail and then the base coat ends up you know carrying off of the nail so I've just kind of not really been using that so much because I guess I don't know how to do it right. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is uh, after I get all the Mickey heads on I'm gonna just go ahead and um, apply a couple of layers of the base coat just to ensure that I get it to lay nice and flat. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that in place. This is what the nails are looking like after the sequins have been cured into place. Now I'm just gonna go in with two layers of top coat just to encapsulate them and we'll be all done. So I'll flip the hand over for 10 seconds just to allow the, the gel to kind of flow into the crevices underneath the sequins. And then I'll apply a second layer of top coat, apply some cuticle oil, and I'll be back with the finished look. All right, happy people. So this is what the nails are looking like. And to be honest with you, I'm not really a fan of how this set turned out. Um, yeah, I was gonna keep them on because I'm like, oh, they're colorful and festive and the kids might like them at Disney but I'm thinking no it looks too kitty for me so I ended up going in with this design you guys and I think I like this one way better I'm not even gonna say I think I know I like this one way better I ended up going in with the milky white color and yeah I like the hint of Disney on the side here um, and so yeah I am gonna go through and file off <laughs> this set and go ahead and do with the milky white I actually ended up going in with the milky white from iGel Beauty It's called winter white and I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process on this hand and then we'll be back with the finished look all right you guys ain't she cute Yes, I am absolutely loving how this set turned out. I'm all set for Disney, okay? Y'all see my little Mickey Mouse heads? Yes, I think it's nice, subtle, simple, and I'm really liking how that milky white looks um, with the simple design as opposed to all that that I had going on at first. Let me know which design you all liked more. Did you like my first design with all the colorful Mickey Mouse heads, or do you like this like kind of peekaboo Mickey Mouse set? I really like how that turned out kind of here on the side. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. By the time you all see this video, I will probably already be back from Disney, but um, yeah, I'm hoping to go have a good time with the family. I'm back with a quick update on my Mickey Mouse set, my Disney set that I did for family vacation. It is exactly a week and one day later since I did this set and it is holding strong. I just wanted to show you all how it held up. Um, so this is what the right hand is looking like. On this hand, all of my minis are still and tack or mickeys um, there's no lifting on the hands except for this finger right here all the other nails are fully intact no lifting at all no lifting at all and um, the only thing on the left hand here is that this mini kind of started falling off a little bit so I clipped off the tail end of it um, and besides that though everything's holding well so you guys these nails survived a couple of hours in a hot tub a pool day um, a whole day at Disney and also a 16 hour ride to Florida and a 16 hour ride back from Florida all with um, a ton of kids um, including a uh, baby that's under two which is my daughter so yeah highly recommend 
the Beatles nail glue. This is a tried and true for me. I do have another review of this when I originally tested it and unboxed it. I'll leave that link down in the description box in case you guys wanna check that out. But yeah, y'all, the Disney trim went really well and the nails held up really well. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!